So here we are again with another episode of Andor. The price of freedom is high. You do it because it must be done. You do it because nobody else can. Will Cassian and the other prisoners finally escape Narkina 5? Only one way to find out, people, because we're watching. You guys have no idea how ready I am. No idea. Okay, I am ready for prison break. I'm so excited. Nobody's getting out. They're probably getting reassigned to other rooms. And the rumor caught out. And now Chu came into some sort of rebellion, not keeping in mind, and they were fried. And now Kino, the supervisor, is probably gonna come in rebellion with all of them. He holds the power. Let's go. I'm so excited. <sighs> Why is this so good? Calmer music. Interesting. Let them be free. Oh, that's gonna come into the news again. Luthen is gonna pick up. I'm still sad about that. No, and you show them? Well, it's only one way up to the... Oh, that's disturbing. They're all gonna watch that, huh? Very grim sight, knowing it could be any one of them. Come to our side. Come to our, not the dark side. But... I need to go tomorrow. Tomorrow. You heard me. It has to be tomorrow. Tomorrow. We can't wait. We'll never have a better chance. How so, tomorrow? You sound insane. No, listen to me. They don't have enough guards, and they know it. They're afraid. Right now, they're afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? They just killed a hundred men to keep them quiet. What would you call that? I'd call that power. Power. Power doesn't panic. 5,000 men are about to find out they're never living here alive. Yeah. Yeah, power doesn't panic. Interesting. They would be confident instead. Interesting. Work him, Cassian. Oh, people are gonna suffer. Do you think that suffering is worth freedom? How much longer can you work under repression with no chance of getting out? It's now or never, babes. Whatever we're making here is clearly something they need. Clearly something they need. Making weapons, I think. Less guards than tomorrow. You know that! I'm programmed! Oh. Every day we wait, they get stronger. Oh, it might be wise to have a plan. We have a plan! Oh, what are you, you and Burnock and Melchie? You don't have time to be stupid! Come on! Great acting! Plan works around a new man coming down. They'll replace Olaf tomorrow. Ooh. That might not happen again until it's too late. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. Cassian, you, you son of a bitch. We won't have a better chance. Yeah, because more it guards. Has to be tomorrow. Yeah, it has to be tomorrow because more guards are gonna come because they are insecure right now. They're panicking. They do need whatever they are making. Hi, editing Kim here. I was a little caught up in this episode, but I still have a theory. <laughs> anyway, this is just the theory, and I have no way to back it up because I simply do not have the knowledge to see which parts they are making for what weapon. But, but, but what if Narkina 5 is actually helping to construct the Death Star? I'm just throwing it in there. Again, I have no way to back it up up till this point, but we know Cassian's story eventually resolves around the Death Star, what Rogue One did for the rest of the galaxy, exploiting the weakness in the ultimate weapon and therefore destroying what he once helped build, redeeming himself ten times over again. Back to the show. Narkina 5 is a priority. He is starting to realize that and there's gonna be more guards and that diminishes their chances of escape. The time is tomorrow because a new guy is coming to replace Olaf and he has been really working his plan with the upcoming lift. Program. Program. Oh, he's taking the leadership position, Cassian. Shut up. New man, tomorrow. New man, tomorrow. 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 Tell, them. Tell us what? A 
doctor came out. He's gonna tell him. Kino, we will have immediate facility compliance or we will be- Kino, you need to act. I'm a f- Chief, no! Thank you for the warning. <laughs> Scooter told us what happened down on two. He said they'd made a mistake and sent back a man who'd just been released. They fried two shifts to keep it quiet. You heard him say this. I don't even know that. Can't be true. I don't believe it. Kino. No one is getting out. Take your power. Take your power back. It's true. They're not letting us go. Ever. Oh my gosh. We're gonna die here or in the next place. So let's get our heads back in our cells and start figuring this out. Nice, Kino. It's starting. Rigger's men took the bait. Starting! Oh, I'm so excited. You found it? They're towing it in, sir. Pilot dead, ship adrift, port of origin unknown. Kathleen Rescue Salvage reports unresponsive GPE 7000 following hydraulic failure on hyperspace re-entry. It worked. Wow. I don't think we should step away. Go oh, on. Huh? We should do what we normally do. No. Unidentified ship, dead pilot. We'd want to take a look, wouldn't we? Let's assume Krieger's watching. The least suspicious thing that we could do would be to take an interest. That is exactly what we will do. <laughs> that is exactly what we will do. Today. Oh, it's redemption not. day. Did they figure it out? We are done with counting shifts. Oh my there god. There is only then and now. There is only one way out. How nerve wracking this must be. But I'm gonna assume I'm already dead and take it from there. There's no sense in warning the night shift. They'll hear about it one way or another soon enough. Let's make it look good. Let's make it look good. Let's go. We're not gonna come back into these little cubes one way or another. We're not dying. Well, we might be dying here, but it will be our way. We choose how to die. Skybridge transfers will be on program and silent until further notice. Any shift not in full compliance will be punished collectively. On program now. Punished on collectively. Program. Oh, I'm so excited. Shut the hell up. New man down. New man down. Come on, give me the new man. Oh, you don't have enough guards. What if they suddenly do? Nah. Oh, Ferrix. Oh, Biggs. Oh, did they hang the dad, Pock? Then unrest is gonna brew here too, even more so than it already did. She needs her meds, she knows it. Uh, we called her hiding them now. And when I asked her what she thought she was up to, she said your pills were putting her off her food. Pretending I was here once, 30 years ago. I'd just left Chandrilla and my boss at the time thought I'd enjoy seeing it. Has it changed much? I can't tell. Didn't pay enough attention. Suppose I thought I'd be coming back regularly. It's state property. The rules are strict on decor. This is the guy she does not like, right? The one who is going to give her the loan. She does not want to be indebted. She doesn't have much of a choice. I'm intrigued. It's a bit old, isn't it? But one of the indulgences of great wealth is freedom from other people's opinions. Mm. You've made your point. The senator has many obligations. Don't She's waste her time. It's her time accordingly. Yeah, so don't waste it. I like when things are clear. I've met your husband several times. I'm sure. <laughs> Many cultures don't fully appreciate the clarity of the Chandrillan marriage. Even our own people are confused at times. Tell me. Boundaries can be liberating. They always have value. Good. We understand each other. Searching for a more fluid banking situation, are we? We've discussed all this, Dabba. I'd like to hear her say it. Yes. We're exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. We've reached a scale in our holdings that permits a great variety of transactions to be bundled in ways that make outside observation impossible. Yes, I've been informed. What do you want in return? What's unfortunate is that people such as yourself, those with immaculate reputations, sometimes feel that by taking advantage of the opportunity, they're somehow tarnished. The money's yours. Family wealth is a thing to be proud of, and you ought to be able to move it as you like with your privacy intact. Right. Oh. The Empire's new regulations, made without Senate consultation, I might add, are as cumbersome as they are avoidable. You're profiting off that. Very clever. He's profiting of the decision the Empire made to observe everybody and giving them the 
personal freedom to do whatever they want with their spendings. Even funding Sid Rebellion. He doesn't care as long as he profits. Maybe there's something more about him though, but clever man. Clever man. Clever girl. This is a charitable fund we're establishing. So I've been told. Yeah, show you've been told. You don't believe what it. What will it cost? My fee. We assume it's a percentage of funds transferred. I want no fee. Money means very little to me at this point. At this point, yeah. Charity, isn't it? What do you want? I insist. And I refuse. Please take no offense. I'd prefer not to owe any favors. Oh, you tell me. I feel him. far more comfortable paying you for your trouble. Yeah, so you don't have to give anything you don't actually want to give him. What he might actually really want from you. A drop of discomfort may be the price of doing business. Ooh, shit. What do you want? I'd like a return invitation. I'd like to come back here at least once. Oh, I'm sure that's something that can be arranged. Wants to be well, I have a 14 year old son. I'd like to bring him with me. No, not the daughter. Not the daughter. No, no. You can't be serious. No, not my girl. I I'm not asking for betrothal. Then what, what the are fuck we talking are you talking about? about? An the daughter's 13. She'll soon come of age. Two young people, attractive and privileged Chandrillan citizens. What makes you think I approve of that tradition? Because she went in it. Our position sometimes makes decisions for us, don't you find? Is that your only offer? I'm afraid so. Selling my daughter. Of course. She might not have a best relationship with her child right now, but no. It's a lot to think about. I'm not thinking about it. I love how fierce she is. Oh my god. That's the first untrue thing you've said. It's been a pleasure. That's the first untrue thing you said. Well, what about the charity? <laughs> oh, I love how fierce she is about her daughter still, though. But how is she gonna get the money then? <laughs> Another Aldani, let's go. <laughs> there was a mark on the fountain. Could be anything. Is she forced to return to Luthen at one point? I hope not. How is she gonna get that funding if not through? Ah, oh, maybe a counter offer. I don't think we've seen the last of this Davo. I think his name is Davo. Who wants a meeting? Face to face. There goes the day. <laughs> I don't like it. Not now, I don't like the timing. You don't like anything. It's been a year. And if it's a trap? Oh, if it's a trap, we've already lost. <laughs> well, that's one way to think about it. A comforting mind, actually. Still on board. I want out. Don't care how. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hey, hey, I'm pretending to be dead. Don't die till you put up a fight. Yeah. One way out. Come on! One way out. Oh, girl! I'm so excited. They're taking shift by shift again with the tube. Right now! I'm two racks behind! They gotta disable the floor, man. Are they all gonna stand up on the table the moment they get into action so they can disable the floor? Because if anything that moves, it cannot be affected by the floor or anything else, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, they're still going on with the tubes. Come on, disable that piece of shit. Let's go. Oh my Stop right there. Oh my god, here we go. Program. Hands on your head, eyes front, feet down. <laughs> this new person is gonna be like, oh my god, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> I'm just here to do my shift. <laughs> oh my god, come on, Cassian. Oh, we're running out of time. Zach, Rod, if I have to use this, you remember it, yes? Yes? Yes. Behind. Just we're already off. behind. Yeah. Mm. I said ice front. Leave me watching. Calm down. How? I thought you were dead already. Yeah. Guess not, huh? Ooh, Cassian! How's it looking out there? Looking good. Looks good. Yeah, for now. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you are running out of time! Shit. Yes. Oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Are the other rooms aware? Well, they'll find out soon enough, like Kino mentioned, like the night shift. I am acting with them, shit! Hey, 
And he's wet. That's not gonna be suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, guys. Uh-huh. We're ready. They're not gonna see Cassian being soaking wet. On program. New man on the floor. This new man! <laughs> Hold your positions! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Shut up. Oh, come on, hurry up, hurry up, get the lift down, get the lift down, get the lift down. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What did you say to me? I said nothing. I mean, if you want to say something, you should say it now. You start with the... Oh! Good job! Distraction, a distraction so they can get into the lift. Oh, I'm so, I feel bad for the new guy, though. What's going on up there? Shit, dude, let's go! Oh! See, that's unfair. He did nothing. Come on, new guy! Hell yeah! He's like on board immediately, and he's dead immediately. Oh, he's all with the materials for the weapon they have been building this entire time. Shit, I'm worried. Wow, that's kind of justice, isn't it? Holy shit. Yeah, get on the tables to be sure! He's okay. He's okay. They're free. Liberty from the floor! Let's go! We have a situation on fire. Yes. I'm so happy! Pete, we have a situation. Yeah, you're gonna get out of there. Oh my god, let's go! Let's go! Come on! No! No! I wanted him to get out, damn it! Oh, go cash in. This is so impressive. Liberate every damn floor. Come together. Come on. Oh. He's back, baby. Adnor's back in business. This is so good. For Ula! <laughs> the other floors. The other floors. It's coming together. It's coming. Let's liberate everyone. Let's go. But they're still in the middle of the ocean, though. How are they gonna get out? Come on. Do they have transporters? Whoa, whoa. Low the consoles. Keep the doors open. What's going on down there? I'm not sure, sir. We just. I'm looking at a water break. I've got service warning. A water break, all right. Check it out now. Check out five two D. I'm loving this. I was hoping for this. I'm sad the redhead died. I liked his fire. Oh, that's so cool! Liberty! Imagine seeing that. And you're like, One way out! Come on, fly! Are they gonna come? Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh my god, oh my god. I am so happy for all of them. <laughs> that's so impressive. Fucking heroes. Criminals, but heroes. That's the person on Rogue One. Oh, no! You got it, you got it, you got it, baby. There you go. Yes! Get the lift down, get the lift down. Yes, baby. Be careful! Ooh. Oh, thank God. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, let's just go. This is a facility-wide emergency announcement. Complete program protocol will commence in 40 seconds. And they're not just and losing the prisoners, they are losing everything that they were building. The important, I think they were weapons, the important pieces they needed, that they wanted the prisoners to provide because they were cheaper. They were cheaper than droids, easily replaceable. They're all gonna lose that. So that's gonna create a serious dent in the Empire. And I'm loving it. Yeah. Start the count. Unit wide activation. How long does it take to track down a water break? Set to wait for the floor to secure. Isolate five. Burn a firewall around it. Try the whole level. Make the Try it all two. level? Too late. There's nobody there. Turn it off. Excuse me? Turn it off! That could mean so many things. 
I'll turn it off. <laughs> Step away. <laughs> no! That was great. Shut down the floors. Everywhere! Do it. Yeah, I was gonna do it anyway. Didn't matter what he would no, say. Don't just turn it off. Disable. Destroy. God, the power. So Hydro. Once we turn it off, it takes months to get it back up and running again. You think he cares? I don't have it. He has the Hydro Gens. Then you're useless. <laughs> Guys, oh my god. And the night shift. The night shift. That's the backup power supply. With him. Move! On program! Now! On program! Oh, that's All so good. All yours. Oh, he's giving him back the power. That's good, Cassian. Cassian is so smart. Cassian could easily take on leadership himself. But he's smart enough to give Kino back his power so Kino can be appreciated. And he's already thinking ahead in case they survive and they need people, the people of the prison, they answer to Kino right now. But it could also mean, like, if they get out, there might be a drift between Andor and Kino because Cash clearly took a leadership position here and he's bossing Kino around and it might create a little bit of friction and unrest. Cash is smart to give back that power to Kino. It's all yours. You don't want that unrest. You don't want that rivalry in the ranks. He, he, oh wow. That's, that's, you don't see that often really. He doesn't have the ambition to be on top. It's all yours. He's so smart. I love him. He's really intelligent. What's wrong? Take a breath. Tell him what to do. It has to be you. Come on, Kino. You do this every day. Tell him what to do. You got the power, Kino. Stand. Rise. Fight. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the day shift manager on level five. I'm speaking to you from the command center on level eight. I'm gonna cry again. We are at this moment in control of the facility. Is that the best you got? Inspire them. Be a leader. How long we hang on, how many of us make it out, all of that is now up to us. You got it. We have deactivated every floor in the facility. All the floors are cold. <gasps> oh! He was brave. Wherever you are, right now, get up. Get out of your cells. Take charge and start climbing. That takes so much courage, though. Enough guards, and they know it. That's terrifying, too. We will never have a better chance today. than this. And I would rather die trying to take them down than giving them what they want. I'd rather die trying to take them down than die giving them what they want. We know they fried a hundred men on level two. He's mad. We know Good. that they are making up our sentences. Fed up. As we go along, we know that no one outside here knows what's happening. That when they say we are being released, we are being transferred to some other prison to go and die. That ends. Today, there is one way out. He's so good. The building is ours. He's so good. To run, climb, kill. Oh, that's so good. We need to help each other. We see someone who's confused, someone who's lost. Get them moving and you keep them moving until we put this place behind us. That's so good. This is so good. If we can fight half as hard, because we've been working, oh, we will be home in no time. If we fight, if we fight just as hard as we have been working, we'll be out in no time. That's such a good line. Ah, it's so good. And yeah, the moment when Keith Cashin arrived at the prison. Sorry, this is so good. <laughs> I'm just so happy. <laughs> this is happy tears, okay? But with the moment when Cassian arrived, they asked him, do they know? What are they saying out there? What are they saying? Because of the double sentences, what are they saying out there? 
and nothing was said about the prison. Nothing. Which is why they were so desperately trying to keep in any news from going outside. Which is why they're reassigned each time because they didn't want these prisoners, these freed prisoners to talk about what was happening in the prison system right now. Because that would cause more unrest, that would cause more rebellion, that would cause more people to be fed up. No one was getting out and now hopefully there are so many people getting out and spreading the word what is happening, causing even more unrest for the empire and hopefully gathering even more forces for the rebellion. So good. One way out! A medic who couldn't tell anyone! One way out! That's so good! I love that we see him again. One way out! Oh! This is so incredible! This is such a good scene! Why is this so good? Help them up! Help them up! <laughs> this feels so good! This feels so good! But how are they gonna get out? Oh my god, they're gonna swim! Kino! He can't swim? No! What? Whoa! No! Can't swim! No! 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 And he's smiling! He made it this far for everybody and he can't swim! He can't swim! rallied all of these forces he rallied all of them and he can't even fucking swim did he think about that or was he like this is just not right i can't stand here a second longer listening and doing their bidding any longer and i need to stand up even if he has nothing to show for it in the end he can't swim are you joking Get him a fucking lifeboat! <laughs> Get him a life jacket! Are you kidding me? He can't swim. He's ISB. He's ISB. Is he undercover? This is a trap. Press the buttons for 215. <gasps> we'll have privacy. We're running express. He's in league with Luthen! Daughter. Healthy, beautiful. Oh. You must be pleased. Oh, Luthen. That's a silent threat right there. That's a silent threat. Your daughter, beautiful. Would be a shame if something happened to her. If you betray us. <laughs> is that meant to scare me? Uh, I think well, it is. It's been years since we've had a chance to catch up. Become a father. Not worth mentioning. It's not fair. You. Knowing. Watching me. I think about you constantly. Ooh. <laughs> You made a decision, didn't you? There's a new supervisor rising, Dramira. He was the one who gave the mark. She's focused on a suspect she's calling Axis. Which is you. She thinks he's building a rebel network. She started looking into stolen Imperial naval equipment, and now she's looking for a link to Aldani. Dead Ramiro. There was an incident on Ferrix a few months ago. She thinks there's a link. She's been tearing the place apart. And she's right. Searching for Thief and the Middleman. Bigson and Cash. Axis. Oh, well, this is good. Encourage this. Why is this good? Because she's wasting time. You had nothing to do with Aldani. Well, almost nothing. We were invited but declined. <laughs> they got lucky. We don't build on luck. This can't be why you're here. Very clever. Very clever, Luthen. Never give all your cards away. She just captured a rebel pilot running supplies for Anto Krieger. They turned him immediately and staged an accident. We know that there's a raid planned on the power station at Spellhouse. If Krieger attacks, they'll be waiting. Good. And if he doesn't, they'll know something's amiss. No! It's 50 men. You're worth more than that. You have to warn them. People will What's suffer. A better way to reassure the ISB there's no leak in security than sacrificing Krieger. Shite. I'm doing this for you. You're worth more. You're valuable. Your intel is more valuable. 50 men. What are 50 men? Oh, 50 men, Luthen! Tell me why we're really here today, Lani. I can't do this anymore. I'm a father now. Oh no. 
I had no idea how it would feel. Oh, no, no. We took a vow. I'm giving you Dead Romero. For my freedom. I'm giving you Spellhouse. I'm warning you about Ferrix. I'm honoring my vow. What will you do? I've been working my way through there for six years, alone. There's no so way what was your this. plan? Gather a big basket of goodies for me as a farewell gift? What were you planning to tell the ISP? My health, my wife's family has an import business. Even as you say the words, you know it's impossible. He's willing to sacrifice Kiger and 50 men for the intel he has here from this guy, from the ISB. He can't just let him go. He doesn't want to work for him anymore. I am really concerned. We can't let you go, Lonnie. We can't spare you. We've been grooming you for too long, and yes, you've been alone. Your career has profited greatly from information that we've provided. Information that cost me dearly. Oh. You love your daughter. Oh. Krieger's men will be dying to make sure she has a father. Jesus. You're trapped, Lonnie. Walls are it's coming no in. There's no pleasure in saying it, but you're going nowhere. My sacrifice means nothing to you. It's for the cause. I said I think of you constantly, and I do. Your investment in the rebellion is epic. <laughs> the double life, every day a performance, the, the stress of that. We need heroes, Lonnie, and here you are. And what do you sacrifice? Tell me, what do you? I can think of a few things. Calm, kindness, kinship. Oh, yeah. Love. There's no room for that. I've given up all chance at inner peace. I made my mind a sunless space. Married to the cause. I share my dreams with ghosts. I wake up every day to an equation I wrote 15 years ago from which there's only one conclusion. I'm damned for what I do. Damned for what I do. Anger, my ego, my unwillingness to yield, my, my eagerness to fight. They set me on a path from which there's no escape. I yearn to be a savior against injustice without contemplating the cost. And by the time I look down, there's no longer any ground beneath my feet. The Senator, Mon Motha, always reminds us at what cost. He's willing to go so far without looking at the cost. Two opposites there. Feet. What is my, what is my sacrifice? I'm condemned to use the tools of my enemy. I burn my decency for someone else's future. I burn my life to make a sunrise that I know I'll never see. Jeez, good scene. So what do I sacrifice? Everything! Oof. Very good performance. You'll stay with me, Lonnie. I need all the heroes I can get. <sighs> Holy crap! And sacrificing 50 men now. Editing Kim again, I was a little bit swept away by this moment when I first reacted to it. But do you think he repeats the line, I need all the heroes I can get? Because of all that he has to do to secure the rebellion and its success. And for him to cause so much sacrifice for it. At what cost? He can't see himself as a hero anymore. Which is why he needs all the heroes he can get. Oh, I'm sad about Kino. He can't swim. <laughs> He's stuck there. And the remaining guards are going to be there. And it's probably the end for Kino. How many didn't make it? How many made it? Two? Are you joking? Nah, they're just sticking together, right? Fantastic episode. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. And from Andor, that's saying a lot because I have enjoyed every single episode of Andor. This was probably my favorite. I keep saying that because Aldani was so good too, and I really liked episode 3 as well. There was like a mini climax. It's so good. Why is it just so good? The whole prison break. And for Kino, it's so bittersweet. It, it, it's, you can almost laugh about it. And he almost laughed about it. Like, all this, and I can't fucking swim. It's so tragic. He did all of that. He made that beautiful speech, rising everybody up, helping everybody to escape. For a sunrise you'll never get to see. I really liked Kino. It was really good performance. And Luthen's speech at the end, what do I sacrifice? Everything. 
everything, warmth, kindness, love, and you can see it in the way it reflects on his way of business. It really is that way. I'm so busy trying to save everyone, I don't think about the cost. And then again, you have the senator. At what cost? People are suffering. And now, here, Luthen again is gonna cause so much suffering and sacrificing Krieger and 50 men for Spellhouse. Because he doesn't want to let the ISB know there's a leak somewhere. Because he pulls out now, the ISB is gonna know someone here is a rat. And he doesn't want that valuable information to be rooted out. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I feel so much for these people in, the, in this galaxy. It's so... In I keep, I, I'm repeating myself. It's just really good. It's just really good. I don't want there to be two episodes only left. I'm so enjoying this. This is one of my favorite series ever. Not even Star Wars, but just ever. It's so good. I, I feel like Andor takes you on a journey and you don't know where you're headed next. Now, after the prison break, are we going to go back to Ferrix? Because we know that Pack is going to get hanged. It's going to unsettle his son. The prison system, the word is going to spread what happened there. People are going to maybe even be upset, even more upset than after all Johnny. It's going to cause a lot of unrest. And I feel like it's maybe the final form we're headed towards the rebellion. Everyone is, everything is going to come together. It's so good. Guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. I really did hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. This episode is my favorite. I don't know how we're going to top this, but I would not be surprised if we were able to top it. What episode is your favorite? No spoilers, but let me know. Leave a like if you enjoy these episodes. Subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And here's my Patreon if you want to support the channel, get early access and longer exclusive versions of Andor. And I will see you in the very next episode of Andor. See ya.